and I condemn you. coming in on the Typhon mining scandal that has rocked the western slope town of Haven Springs, where a council meeting was the scene for shocking revelations. Local bar owner and council president Jed Lucan admitted in a tearful confession to covering up the deaths of seven Typhon employees as their manager 12 years ago. A recent cover-up, which involved a clandestine and unpermitted explosion to thwart inspections, caused the death of Haven local Gabe Chen last month. Mr. Lucan is currently in police custody, awaiting arraignment. We will have plenty more about this developing story, including the resignation of Typhon CEO, the market impact, and what it all means for your drive time commute coming right... Yeah, the silence is worse. I need to get some air. After summoning all my strength and willpower, I'm now ready to move from the bed to the rooftop. Hey, Steph. Alex, wait. Before you say anything, I have to get this out. Okay. What you did at the council meeting, it was the bravest thing I've ever seen. And it made me want to be brave too. So, here it goes. I want to be with you. I don't give a shit about playing music or seeing the world. I mean, I do, but only if it's with you. And if you'd rather stay here instead, then... <sighs> Fuck it. I want to stay here, too. You ripped your bus ticket. I can get another one. Or not. It, it doesn't matter. Point is, I'm in. For whatever you want. You've, uh, given me a lot to think about. Well, good. That was the idea. You know where to find me. Good luck, Chen. Thanks, Steph. All right, just tell me. What? My future. What to do? The night of the spring fest, Steph made a strong push for leaving with her. Playing on the road, the excitement of the unknown. Of course. That was before all the shit went down. <laughs> Come on, you're the know-it-all. 
So tell me. <laughs> Actually, I do know what you should do. You should stay in Haven. Of course. You're right. I've never had a home before. Friends. A job. A place to live. Why would I give that up now? Then again, maybe leaving would be better. What? You're young, you suddenly have a little money, friends. And don't you think it's time to give this music thing a real shot? No, you should definitely leave. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> Stop it, Gabe. I don't need the mysterious spirit bullshit right now. I just need... I just need my big brother. Sorry. I know. But here's something. It's three hours from now. A bus pulls away. You're not on it. And neither is Steph. Life goes on. You get a job working with Steph at the record store. All those years of being a music snob finally pay off. And little by little, time does its thing. The apartment starts to feel less like a museum and more like a home. Maybe while you play, you wonder what could have been. Performing for more people in more cities, sharing your music with the world. Or maybe you never think about that much at all. You don't know exactly when it happens, but one day you look around 
and find that you have transformed this place just as much as it has transformed you. And the most extraordinary thing of all is just how normal it feels. You don't question it. You don't doubt it. I wonder what might have been. It's your life. The life you fought so hard to have. And for the first time in a long time, you just live. Thank you. Don't mention it. You really think I'll transform Haven? Of course. You already have. With your gift, your music, just by being you. But Alex, that doesn't mean you have to stay. You have the potential to do that anywhere you go. Where am I supposed to go? I don't have any other home. That is true. But you didn't have any home before coming here. And look what happened. The truth is, there's no telling what that version of your future might be. The only promise is the adventure. So, what do you think? I know what I want. 